Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at some new exciting features coming to 4.0. So yeah, there have been a few releases in the daily builds and uh, today I'm just going to look at some of the more exciting features like the node previews that are coming to the compositor. Just jump right into that and uh, maybe as I'm showing that I can also show you the new feature, uh, the chroma key feature that is now supported in the compositor. So if I go in here, I've just downloaded this ostrich on a green screen background uh, from uh, Pixabay and I uh, just imported in as a as a movie file into blender like you see here and uh, we already have a preview So to show these previews all you have to do is just come in here and uh, make sure that uh, you have previews checked on And you can come to any node and right click on each and I uh, show hide you should see node preview You can sh hide it or show it by using shift H uh, like that so I can transform it here I guess it's not going to show on this uh, but uh, on this you can see that i've keyed that and uh, it's uh being it's, it's showing on here uh, for some nodes it doesn't seem to work for example on this transform node it doesn't uh, seem to work but uh yeah i guess this is work in progress or maybe some nodes don't simply uh support that so since this is supported in uh node preview now i can just go make sure that uh, uh i have the compositor turned on here and i can just uh, just mix my my kid my kid ostrich i'm just going to use the mat as the factor here and now we have an ostrich in front of our of our house i can scale this down I'll scale this a bit down I like that of course this is an image layered on top of the of the scene so when i move the camera it's not really going to move uh but uh, yeah another thing for the viewport compositing it now supports sand beams so if I add that, uh, we can create some gold rays. Let me just preview this node here. Yeah, we can preview gold rays directly in here. It's a nice effect. Uh, we can just blend it, blend it with uh, the image here. I'm just going to add this on top of uh, this and I just use the add yeah, to add some detail to that, like that. Yeah, so that is also now supported. Another new feature is that uh, lights have UV maps. So for example, let me turn this light, the sky off. I'm just going to use a uh, point light here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the shader editor here, use nodes. And now if I add an image texture, something like this. Now you can see that, uh, let me just amplify this. Uh, you can see the image projected that projected onto the surface. Let me turn off the sunbeams because I think they're getting in the way a bit. Uh, let me go to the compositor and just turn off the sunbeams for a second. I think uh, this is, yeah, it. Let me go back now to the shader editor. You can see that you don't really have to do much uh, to get the textures to work now. And uh, you can rotate them, you can scale them, basically do anything you would with any texture. If I switch this to a spotlight, you can see that even much clearly projected. Uh, I can change the size of the of this, uh, increase the strength, uh, and, and it gives you a nice projection. I think it also works for videos. So let's bring in the ostrich video. Just drag it in, connect this. Ah, it does have it has a lot of the green screen. Yeah, you can see that. I can uh, try animating this. Let's see, auto refresh. And yeah, you can see it plays back. Is it supported in Eevee? Ah, so the textures don't work with Eevee. They only work with cycles, it seems. Still has a green screen. I guess I can key this by just separating the RGB. So let me go to color. Uh, is it convert, separate color, and just see if I can get a mask out of the green at a ramp i can create a, a nice mask then i can just mix mix color this could be the factor and uh, this could be this and now we have that projected and it's playing and kid which is great uh the movie distortion is also supported and uh King is supported, we have looked at that, Sunbeams are supported, and uh, the classic Kuhuahara. I didn't even know what that was, but it seems to be just a way to blur things. So if I go to the compositor here and just add that after everything, 
uh, here you can do a kuwahara kuwahara node it's uh, a way to blur things I like that let me bring back my sky light you see it's uh it gives this this painty feel looks amazing and for Dimitri Nodes, there is a new feature called Repeat Zone, which works like this Simulation Zone, but works a bit differently. Let me show you. So instead of using Simulation Zone, you can also use, I think it's under, I don't remember, let me just search it. It's called Repeat Zone. And basically, it functions like the Simulation Zone. The only difference is that it runs as many times as I have in the iterations instead of running on every frame, or like the Simulation Zone. So what can you use it for? So I have here uh a plane here and a cube i want to to cut this a few times using this object uh, so i can do that this was really hard previously uh so but here i can just bring that cut object here and uh, do a, a boolean mesh so i'm going to also bring in uh this plane here connect this as the because i want to cut this in different angles uh, i can bring this as a another geometry in here I export that as well and uh, just to show you what I'm doing and let me first preview this geometry is a transform node so I can basically give this a random rotation so every time it rotates I want it to cut through the mesh but I want a random rotation here so what I'm going to do is uh, use a random value a random value vector and just plug that in there and uh, then use that as the rotation here i'm going to get an error uh, because this is a different type of data so to make sure that the data is consistent under uh, the rotation here uh, there is an id input so i'm just going to plug in any value here uh, so that uh, this this data matches whatever we are entering here so now on every iteration we get a different rotation uh, which is what we want so i can plug this into uh, this mesh uh, so that is if i preview now you can see that uh, i'm basically cutting this mesh yeah like that uh you can maybe even do a random no, no, was, let me also just use this as a random translation so that we we separate this so this is a, a nice way to make some fracturing effects uh yeah basically that's it uh thank you for watching um, all links are going to be in the description.